you want to see some parkour? Yeah. Um, the show is titled Home and Belonging. I have this show representing my interest in diaspora and specifically queer diasporic theory and critique and having sort of this show be a representation of my experience specifically as a Jewish Iranian Kurdish woman in the U.S. and how my upbringing and family dynamics have so much to do with the way that I visually take in information and how I visually accept and adapt information and objects into a context that is authentic. In this show, I'm mostly interested in sort of a time and space binary when talking about a diasporic person in the US. There is the spatiality of where is this person's homeland, which is one way of thinking of the diasporic person, which is very limiting and really does curtail their ability to adapt in their newfound spaces and becomes a very nation state way of thinking of the diasporic person. I am also interested in a time binary, meaning how does these upbringings and how does ancestry and how does genealogy, geology, how do all these things incorporate into a singular body and how do they adapt into the world, into their current states, into their current homes and place makings. Having a queering understanding of home and belonging has more to do with um, context relations that are current and not in the past. I have all of these childhood photos that my dad gave me and I carry them around and offer them, or even my name, some people have my name, tattooed on their body. In the ways that I've seen other artists archiving their childhood it has been precious and has been true to its original state. And something that interests me in terms of like home and belonging and my entire show is the preciousness of the current experience and not the preciousness of the past and archive. So having the generous contributor that donates their time and body to my art practice in this specific series of experiment or performance or however it is you take it allows the other person to have agency in this whole process um, where they're not only changing the context of my childhood photos and my name because I have no control over where these bodies may end up uh, and the canvas itself and the medium itself is so, has so many variables and places that it can be. Those ideas of home and belonging and a queering aspect and what I'm interested in in this queering idea of home and belonging has a relationship to reinventing a space and redefining a spatiality. And if I understand a queer diasporics person as someone who time and time again has to recreate a home, then placemaking is a reoccurring aspect of people's lives, especially for the queer diasporic person. So having me and my body be represented in ways that I can't control as I do in everyday life but as a performance piece is interesting to me and speaks a lot to how I feel about my place making in the world. How does history and how does bodies and people interact with consumable uh, imagery? and how do these visual signifiers interact with consumability and those things are extremely related to me because it's what's given to us and it is what is assigned to what can we be interacting with. The way that I use my paintings is I have these visual signifiers from multiple areas of what I either see as diasporic or I see as current pop culture and those ways 
and the ways that they do interact are just physically being put onto the canvas and having the fluidity of the shape of the canvas and the fluidity of the images of the Persian rugs and the images of family members and the images of Tweety Bird. Those things interact together for me and my body and for multiple queer diasporic people's body, even if they don't understand the Iranianness or the Jewishness or the Kurdishness, their diasporicness allows them to understand this fluid intermingling of the ways that they're stimulating their multiple selves. I see how my parents have shown me all their Persian or anything that they brought home from Iran or anything that they find in the Iranian supermarkets where I grew up in Dallas. Those things have this certain aesthetic of like more is more, you put things on, things are beautiful and lavish and gold or red. I see my art as something that my friends look at and say that they can connect with it even if they don't have access to understanding diasporicness because some of them do come from Anglo-Euro backgrounds, that doesn't mean that they aren't able to access every single part of it. Not everything is accessible, not everything is understandable, but the ways that I find my authentic self and the ways that queer artists may find their authentic selves is touching on the multiplicities. My Iranianness comes from the U.S., specifically Dallas Persian community, the Dallas Persian Jewish community that I grew up in. So my color choices, my aesthetic choices, in those ways should personally and in the way that I'm thinking of my art making speak to that community of Iranianness. One of my videos, um, I Need to Call My Brother, has the concepts of translanguaging in it where my father has to call his brother who currently lives in Jerusalem and he has to use a phone card that has the language Hebrew in it. He is speaking to his siblings in Farsi and he's talking himself or me who's filming him in English. Those interactions to me is where my home lies because there's no physical space where I'm going to have all those places interact all at once all the time. It's in these experiences where my home and belonging is. Get the silicone bug? Yeah. You can see it. I don't know if I'm going to fall. But oh, don't sit on your phone. Okay.